Thank you. Uh, I thank you so much, and, and I'm very excited to be uh, joined in this effort with you. Um, this comes out of a number of conversations that my colleague Mark Vesey and I have had uh, just in the back of this chamber about both of our experiences growing up, which were very similar, coming from uh, working class or, or blue collar parents who worked very hard to make sure that their children had opportunities uh, that they may not have had. In many ways, that is the American experience. People who work hard, play by the rules, pay taxes, raise their kids, and hope that their kids will have opportunities that they didn't have. That is what built the American middle class. And what is so difficult about the time in which we're living is that it's not just about an economic growth that is 2%. It's not just about the statistics that we often cite on this House floor. It's about a loss of hope in the power of the American dream. There was a statistic that came out, having just said it's not about statistics, let me cite one, uh, that I think is in fact very telling and really shocking. In the World War II generation, 92% of that generation went on to earn more than their parents did. For the generation of which I'm a part and Mark is a part, taken at exactly the same point in life, that figure is exactly one half, 46%. Consider another statistic that compared to the year 2000, in inflation-adjusted figures, the middle class has less wealth today than at that point 16, 17 years ago. That is the only decade and a half that you can look at in American history in which the middle class is worse off than the decade and a half that preceded it. So while these are presented as just quote unquote economic issues, really they're much more than that. They strike at the very heart of who we are as Americans and what we stand for. So we're gonna be talking as part of this caucus and over the next close to an hour or so, but for many weeks and months to come, about what we can do specifically for the blue collar economy. For those who work with their hands, for those who have been in many ways held back because of transitions that our economy has faced. Uh, I have many things that I wanna talk as, as part of that, but I don't wanna go on too long because we've been joined by someone who doesn't just talk the talk, uh, but has walked the walk. A union worker himself, an iron worker, I believe, a good friend of mine from Massachusetts and someone who works hard himself, both in his previous occupation and now standing up and fighting for working people here as a member of Congress, a colleague from the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, Mr.